in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, reset an admin account. And this is assuming you really don't have any admin account information, um, including the username and password. This is maybe in the event where you either don't remember, or maybe you're giving a site by maybe a client that they didn't develop their site, and they have the hosting information because they pay for that, but they don't have anything else. This is assuming you have access to both the files in the database, and we're going to go from there. And we're going to start with uh, MySQL in the database. We're using phpMyAdmin. Of course, you can use really whatever tool you want. And we're, of course, going to look in our database. And this is a pretty raw one. Of course, there's going to be a bu bunch more tables in there if uh, you have a lot of plugins installed or something. Now, the first thing to really, really do is you can sort things out really easily just by looking at the users. And a lot of sites really only have one or two admin accounts, and that's really it. And that really makes your life a lot easier. You have this ID number, and that's all we really need. Uh, and of course, we need the, the user login as well. We're going to use that later. But we have this, and that's wonderful. But let's say there's it's like a WooCommerce store or something. You have tons and tons of users. It's going to be really a difficult process to go through all of them, really figure out which one's an admin. So we're going to go ahead and go to the user meta, and I'm going to show you how to filter through the data. Now, of course, if you look at this, they're all for user two, so it's very obvious. Uh, we're really looking for this line. I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's go to search, and we're, of course, searching uh, this user meta. And we're going to search within the meta value. And we're going to search for administrator. And instead of like, we're going to do like with the, the parenthesis or the um, percent sign. And that's basically everything in front of that and everything after. So you're going to find something that just contains administrator. We're going to go ahead and go. And you can see you have this line that comes up. Of course, you have multiple administrators. This will show up in multiple different things. Um, we want to make sure that it says WP uh, capability, capabilities. Um, so you have that. And uh, if it has something else there, maybe there's another user meta that has the keyword administrator. Pretty uncommon, but uh, maybe that's the case. We're looking for this, at least. Now, this gives us the user ID that has it. And you can then go to our user um, table, our WP users table, and look for the ID that matches. And again, you can really just do a search for this under user ID equal to two. And you can see that that would come up. Awesome. Now, we of course have our, we need to use these two things, as explained before. And we're going to use this function. You can actually look at the, the WordPress documentation. Um, it's called WP set password. Pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. All we're going to do is put the password in here and then put the user ID in there. And we can reset it really quick. Now to run this, we can really run this anywhere that gets accessed by our uh, search or our uh, web page. So I think the easiest thing to do really is to do it in the header of your theme file because I think it's run pretty much everywhere on your site. Let's go ahead and we're going to copy this function. Now we only want to run this once. Now let's change this to test. Now we can of course change it later. Change that to two, put a little semicolon. And now we're going to save this. We're going to go over here. We're going to run this. Now it runs. Now we want to make sure this is disabled now. And we're going to hit save. And eventually we're actually going to delete that in a few minutes. Let's go back to our login. Now from here, we know that our user login is demo admin. 
and our new password that we just made is called test. We're going to log in. Now we have this. Now, of course, we're, we're able to reset our password if need be. Um, if that wasn't good enough, and make it really nice. Now the next thing to do is just delete this, like it never happened, so that it doesn't rerun it. You don't want people to really see that in the files as well. So that is that concludes the tutorial on how to reset a password and get access to it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.